Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to have a sneak peek into the new Expert Forex Hedge EA. Now the Expert Forex Hedge EA trades the profit retrieval process where instead of using stops, more trades in the same direction are added to losing trades. Now this is all explained in a previous video which I made last week and you can see here oh, here is the video there's the link a clickable link will be in the description of the video as well as in the first comment of the video and it explains how the profit retrieval process works and also explains a bit about lot sizing flexibility this video was well viewed and I hope that you've also seen this because this will explain how the new hedged EA works so the new EA uses three hedging groups of trades. The first one is the simple one, which is an unhedged trade that trades in the direction of the trend. And normally there's only one trade open when this happens. Then there are the distressed trades. Now those are trades that have gone in the wrong direction in the trend and have opened more than one trade. So you have a basket of distressed trades. And then the third are hedging trades, and those are trades that hedge the uh, distressed trades. And all this will become clear when we actually see the EA working. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually see the EA working on a chart, and we're going to see it working on a trading account. So you'll have two views to get an idea of how this EA trades. Now the other thing it does is that it uses an offset moving average to determine the market phases and the trends. And our offset moving average really is good in that it, it captures nice trends. Anything above the moving average is in a buy trend. Anything below it is in a sell trend. So it catches these nice trends very nicely. And, and that's what makes this EA quite powerful. And if you want more information about the magic moving average, uh, uh, this was also uh, made into a video uh, a while ago, six days ago. And here we have the video. Again, a clickable link to this video will be in the description of the video as well as in the first commentary. Please go and watch this video. It explains exactly the benefits of using a magic moving average. So why did we create this brand new trading firstly necessity is the mother of invention so one of the downsides of using the profit retriever or the rsi liberator or the wave liberator is that sometimes they can get stuck in long drawdown periods and no trades can happen so they basically are static until the profit retrieval process kicks into place and resolves the open trades. Now this is very frustrating, especially if you're only trading one account. So as you'll see, it, the new EA constantly adds to the balance of the account on an ongoing basis. It also improves the chances of with the trend trading and that's why we're using that moving average. It identifies a trend and will improve the chances of consistently trading with that trend. It uses grid trading and price level principles to manage transactions from an entry and exit point of view. And we will see that in the examples that you're going to be looking at when we start trading this EA. It allows for aggressive lot sizing and recovery strategies. Because of the hedging, it, it allows you to trade a little bit more aggressive. Um, it has good market phase identification strategies. And again, we come back to that magic moving average. It identifies the market phases very well and therefore can trade quite well when it comes to with the trend trading. And in the end, the most important thing is it is nicely profitable with reduced drawdowns. So all that's left now is to actually go and have a look at the EA trading. Let's do that right now. Okay, so on your screen, you can see 
a trading chart with the hedged EA loaded on it. A tr it is uh, trading the, the pound USD and on a 15 minute chart and we're trading it from the 1st of February this year. We're only going to be doing uh, four or five days and the idea is to, to just show you the principles of how this EA trades. We have a section here that actually shows you the status of the trading with how many buy transactions there are, how many sell transactions and how many open trades and, and also converts that into the dollar situation and tells you the trade count. So we're going to be looking at this little section on an ongoing basis to identify those three groups of, of trades that I mentioned earlier, which is the single trade trading in the direction of the trend then the distressed group of of trades where there are more than two items open uh, in that particular group and then the hedged group which hedges the the distressed group of trades now what also happens is that sooner or later the distressed group gets cashed in and then often the hedge group becomes the distress group and you uh, and a new hedge group gets opened and hopefully we'll see that in this particular example so let's start the trading again uh, what i have on the tra on the chart here is the magic moving average which is a moving average that has been offset by four periods so it's a four moving average offset by four periods pushed into the future okay so let's get the trading started so as you've seen what happened is the price crossed over to the moving average and went into the buy zone and therefore created a buy transaction so by creating the buy transaction it opened a target there is the target for the transaction and uh, this buy has to hit that target to to finish in profit there is no stop with this particular system so um, what what happens is if if this trade goes negative we'll just open additional trades now there is a gap here there's a gap of 20 pips so 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 um it will if it goes negative it will open trades every 20 pips and the 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 take profit that you see here is 30 pips the other thing is that when it opens a basket of trades it will close those trades when it is sixty dollars up and you can see there sixty dollars up so if there are two or more trades trading in the same direction it creates a basket and it will close that basket when it is sixty dollars up so you actually make more money from your negative trades than your positive trades. In this particular example, uh, 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 this is just a strategy that I'm using to show you how the EA works. So let's carry on. This one has now opened a buy and let's carry on. Now this section might become quite boring because uh, it does trade through the dead zones of the market like between the close of the US market and the open of the Asian market. The market goes sideways and we'll see a lot of that happening right now. We'll have to be patient for these trades to, to resolve themselves. But that is what we're looking at at the moment, the sideways market, nothing much is happening. And then when the Asian market opens, some there will be some volatility and then also the British market will add more volatility. Okay, and there it hit the target. Now the big thing here is that if it is starting to trend, and it hits the target it will open another buy it doesn't have to cross the moving average because it's in the buy zone it will open another buy in the direction of the trend being above the moving average so that's how it will 
continuously trade in the direction of the trend as long as there is a trend going and we'll see a little bit more of that as we go on but that explains the group the group one type of trade where you have a single trade trading in the direction of the trend so let's continue with the trading and there is the target for that particular buy okay let's see what's happened here now what is not very clear here because these are on top of each other is that the buy has now gone negative by the gap size and it has now created a second buy transaction so as we said it doesn't use stops it actually just adds to the position of the trade and <clears throat> it has opened a second buy position by opening a second buy position it has become d what we call d distressed so being a distressed group it immediately said oh i've got to hedge this group so it has also now created a hedge transaction so now the uh, we the, here's an example of the other two types of uh, grouped transactions the, uh, we now have a disc distress group and we now have a hedge group and here you can see on the summary we have two buys and one sell so that's the situation there the other thing that isn't clear here but is that the this trading user multiplier on the lot sizing of 0.15 again this is just an example so uh, if we if you opened a lot of one up the the second top up would be at 1.5 so that's how uh, the the multiplier works so we so it also increases or decreases you can decrease it if you want the lot sizing as you go along but this is this is nice we have now seen the three types of transactions so let's carry on with the trading so we have the sell transaction which has a target over there and we have the buy transaction with which has a target over there okay so what has happened here is that there was a spike you can see that spike going down there um, but quite a few things happened at the same time so what happened here is you can see there were three buys open and they were closed with a 60 dollar profit when the price snapped down opened the opened the third buy and then snapped up and closed all three of those buys at that level so what happened now is we got rid of our distressed group so now uh, 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 there is no longer a distressed group when uh, we now only have a single trade open which is that cell that's over there so these things happen quite quickly that's quite a big spike that happened there let's let it roll a, a little bit more and and the big spike continues and i'm going to stop right there and uh, so what has happened is that this it has now spiked up and this this is quite a big spike uh, to that level where it's opened a cell to join this cell over there so it's created a distressed group of trades and therefore a, a hedge buy trade was entered into right there so at the moment at that at the moment we have two cells which are the distressed ones and we have one buy so it's quite complicated if, if you uh, need to watch this a few times to get a feel of what's happening uh, if uh, but the whole idea here is to get you to understand the concept of distress uh, distress groups hedge groups and also uh, single trading groups so there we are and again this spike shows you that we are not scared of announcements or weekend gaps and things like that because the system basically is robust and caters for unexpected moves okay so let's continue 
Okay, and let's just see what's happened here. Uh, we now have a buy that's cashed in positively and has uh, reinstated itself. And we have uh, three cells open at the moment. One over there, one over there, and one over there. Not clear. Unfortunately, uh, the, the, uh, where, when they open two trades, they open them on top of each other. So the sell break even has moved to that level. If the price comes down, it, it will um, uh, uh, go out positively at that level. And there's the target for the buy. Three sells, one buy. So let's continue. Okay, so there it opens a, another buy, the, uh, another sell. And we are now have four sells and one buy. The buy has not reached its target yet. So the buy is waiting to reach its target. So let's just continue. Four, four negative cells. Oh, there we are. So what has happened there is that the price has come down to a level where it can close all four of the cells. That one got closed, that one got closed, that one got closed, and that one got closed. And it got closed at a nice positive $60. You can see there are no, ne no cells open anymore, and we only have that buy which has a target over there. So you can see that this system allows you to, if you are facing the wrong way in a trend, to get out of that quite nicely. And that's what, in fact, what happened there. And now it's putting us in a position where we are now trading with the trend. We have a single trade with the trend. Let's continue. So there are no distressed or hedge trades happening right now. Just a reminder, there's only one buy open and the, the red line above is the target for the buy. Okay. Let's pause. So what has happened now is that we have two buys open and one sell because the minute you have two buys, it, it creates a distress group. And when you have a distress group, you have to hedge it. And that's in fact what happened. So we've now got two buys and one sell and the, and the trend has changed. So here's the target for the sell. There is the break even for the two buys. You can... The, almost not see it but that's the break even for the two so what what happens is we capture the price between two targets all the time which is really good and and proves that the hedging works so let's activate it further the more you watch these examples the more you'll get a feel of, of what happens so so the sell is now trading in the direction of the trend but there are two buys open. Oh. Let's see what's happened here. So um, the, the buys got closed out at that particular level. And we now have a buy established over there because it, it is in the buy zone. So we have one by zero cells running right now so let's carry on Oop. so the price went down twice and two buys were opened we now have three buys and one sell so the three buys represent the distressed trading and the the sell represents the hedge trade the hedge trade has a target over here and the the stressed ones have a target over there and the price is right in the middle. Okay, there it hits the, uh, the sell target and it opens more buys. I think you're starting to get a good feel. Oh, there we are. It's actually now there one, two, one. I think there might be another. It's closed four buys over there at a profit so it's eliminated the distressed buys very quickly. You see the system doesn't allow 
although there were four distressed buyers it, it allowed it to close very quickly and we now have only one cell active over there so again we'll be back to a single tra a single transaction trading with the trend that sells trading with the trend and there's the target there's the trend and the buyers that were facing the wrong way have now been neutralized so the system works pretty well from that point of view and then here we go we have another cell that uh, that de developed and because it's trading with the cell with a with a trend uh, it doesn't ha need to be hedged so uh, so this is another feature of this uh, system is that when it's trading with the trend it might may only open trades in the direction of the trend so let's let's let it continue so we're in a sell trend we've got a sell transaction that's that's the kind of situation you want to be in oh and then suddenly the price went back and opened another sell so now we have a distressed cell group and, and because we've got a, a, a distressed cell group, it opened another buy so we have two cells now and one buy and then and let's continue There's the buy target and there's the sell group target. So it's either going to hit one of them. Okay, so it hit the distressed sell, sell trades, the sell trades that were distressed. It closed them at a nice profit and now it's got a buy that has a target over there and and it is looks like it's facing the wrong way but it, at least it's one transaction with a target so let's move on okay so the same situation developed now uh, we uh, it, it it opened a another buy which created a, a distress group and because there was a distress group it also opened a sell so now we have two buys and one sell so this scenario plays itself out all the time and there's our target and the, uh, for the sell uh, uh, transaction and there's our target for the two buy transactions. So again you see the price being, being narrowed down into a, a narrow range that it has to hit one of those targets. Okay, so again, it, it opened another buy. We've got three buys and one sell. The, the sell was cashed in, so we've made a profit there, and there are two, two targets following the price down all the way. If it goes up, it will close all the buy transactions. There are three buy transactions and one sell. So it's not a complete hedge. So what happened there was very quick. The, the, the um, buy basket was closed so there are no there were no longer buys but by closing it it created two sell transactions and so now we have two uh, two sell transactions we create a, 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 a distressed group of trades and we have one buy so things changed very quickly from uh, from the previous situation because also what happened is all the previous buys were closed so let's just carry on with this. Remember, there are two cell. Oh, there we are. <laughs> These things happen. So the two cells were closed nicely positive there. So we don't have a distressed group of cells anymore. And we now only have one buy with a target up there. So you can see how the situation changes from distress groups to hedge groups to single trades all the time and creates, oops, and there we are now. So there we have a distress group that's been created, uh, two buys, one sell. And this scenario plays itself out all the time. We have a, a, a selling um, trend here, but we've made money all the way down this trend. 
Now I'm going to let it run for another two minutes because I think you've now understood how the EA works. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at the trading account to show these transactions in more detail. We now have a distressed group of buys and one sell. And there, see how the price is pinched between the target for the sell and the target for the buys. It captures the price. Okay, there, what's happened there is the uh, a, a new buy was opened. The sell was cashed in positively and it opened another sell. So you have a distressed group of three buys and one sell. Again, the target for the sell is there. The target for the distressed group is up there. The price has been pinched between the two. And I think this will be our last transaction. Let's wait, wait for this to resolve. And then what I'll do is we'll look at the actual trading account, which will explain these transactions in a little bit more detail. Okay, it's so open another buy. So our distress group now is four buys and one sell. Let's get that. Let's see if the distress group, uh, let's trade until the distress group is neutralized. Now it needs to go to that level, that red level to neutralize the buy group. Okay, so there we are. Our buy group has been neutralized. We have a sell down here, which is not which is somewhere over here. There's a sell that is still active. There's the sell. We now have zero uh, buys. So we have a situation back to the groupings of transactions. We have an individual trade that is trading in the direction of the trend. Uh, and uh, there is the target for that one. So that's how the trading happens. And what's nice is when these group of transactions close, they close at a profit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to the account mode. And we're going to look at, have a look at the situation here. We've only traded three days in February, three days. And the account balance has gone up by $700. There is the account balance, $700. The equity has gone up $700. And that is because no matter which way the trade goes, you will cash in positively. That Those batches of transactions will cash in positive and your individual trades will cash in positively. So it's been a very good three days of trading. It's also been a very good uh, price action to show you all the transactions that occur. So let's switch to the account mode. And here we have the account mode. I'm going to go right back to the beginning. And uh, we started with a, a $10,000 account. So when you see $30, 30, $30 uh, being posted, that means it is an individual trade that has been, that has hit the target. <coughs> What also happens is a new transactions, a sell trades and things like that get opened. Um, and we won't go through that, but every time one gets opened, the targets get updated all the time. And uh, so the first trade that we saw was a hit of a target. And there we are. And the account went up $30. Then we had a group of transactions. So there's the group of transactions. The last one had a nice positive nice positive and it eliminated the negative but it also added 60 if you look at from 30 to 90 there's 60 uh, added by the group of transactions so we move on and there's another one that's hit the target and then we have a group of transactions that were closed and again the the uh, movement was 60 dollars then there's a small group of transactions only two $60 increase in the account. Another one, $60 increase in the account. So it's just 
and and this one has uh, hit the target of thirty dollars now you can, these all are variables you can set targets that are bigger or smaller you can set uh, targets for your basket of transactions that are bigger or smaller but i'm just showing an example here's one where it ran into trouble that it had five uh, transactions open at the same time and yet it closed at a nice 60 60 dollar profit if you add all of those transactions together again here was a small basket 60 dollar profit there's a, an individual transaction that was 30 dollars and uh, a group again here of 60 dollar profit another 60 dollar profit 30 dollar profit so the so the principle is the 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 EA resolves its open trades by closing them at a profit uh, and it also cashes in obviously its positive trades. So there's, there's the last transaction, I think the last transaction that we've done today and we have here a basket that closed again at $60 profit uh, in, in those four transactions that were closed. So it also gives you an idea of how this reflects back in our um, our account. You can see our account's gone from uh, ten thousand dollars to uh, ten thousand seven hundred in three days. What is the date here? The third, the third of February. So within three days, it has moved tremendously. And you can see the element of risk that's involved here. Every time a tricky situation is created, there is a target above and there's a target below and the price is wedged between those two targets so you're going to cash in positively either way if it hits the top target if you're in a buy it will cash in positive if you hit the bottom target and you're in a, a, a let's say a sell basket which is not technically correct you will um, uh, in, uh, you will get out at a positive transaction so let's have a look at the slide that we looked at just before we started uh, watching those trades. Uh, let's just go through them again. It is less likely to get stuck in long drawdown periods with no trades. As you've seen, there's just been constantly, because the price gets wedged in a narrow range, there's just constant cashing in happening all the time. And because of this co uh, uh, consistent cashing in, it adds to the account balance all the time. It capitalizes the gains. It, it improve, uh, as you've also seen, it improves the chances of with the trend trading. We've seen a lot of with the trend trading in those examples where there was only one trade trading with the trend. Sometimes there are baskets of trades, but but it does increase the chances of with the trend trading. It uses grid and price level principles to manage transactions. So you, you've seen those price levels that get adjusted when baskets get created and the target levels that are shown on the chart. It allows for aggressive lot sizing. In this particular example, I use 1.5 uh, uh, multiplier. So it would start with one and the next one will be 1.5. The next one will be 2.25 and so on. So you've seen that the magic moving average is absolutely fantastic for identifying market phases and identifying trans uh, direction of trade. And it is nicely profitable with reduced drawdowns. You've seen that the drawdowns were minimal over the period of trading. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek at the new hedged EA. I'm really proud of this EA. It really does resolve a lot of the weaknesses that exist in the existing profit retriever EAs and creates this consistent cashing in on an ongoing basis by capturing that price in those tight uh, ranges. The launch date of the HDA is currently uncertain, but it's uh, but we're looking at uh, at two to th in the next two to three weeks. And so please watch your emails and your YouTube channel for more news about the Expert Forex Hedged EA. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you've learned quite a lot about strategies that you can use to make lots of money in the Forex market. Again, links to any items mentioned in this video will be in the description of the video as well as in the commentary of the video. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.